Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Look at that for a view. Absolutely spectacular. Well, except for the potholes, because the, well, there's a hell of one over here. It's like a big trench in the road. There we go. Right. Good morning. Welcome to Mr. Paul's Breakfast Club. The girls are raring to go. Miss Vivian's been cooking up a frenzy in that kitchen. And of course, Miss Nessie is at it as well. She's got some lovely toast with some jam and marmalade. I'll have two slices, lightly toasted, not too heavy, a little bit of butt. And of course, I'll have some lovely marmalade, please, Ness Nessie. And uh, we've got a couple of superstars on the sofa, that's for sure. On each arm, we've got a Ronnie. We've got a Viking Ronnie all the way up in Denmark. And he likes a bit of malted toast with a nice bit of filter coffee ink. That's what he likes. All the way up in Bonnie Bonnie, Denmark. Originally from, of course, Israel. And an ex-member of uh, the Mossad Secret Service, I'll bet. Anyway, on the other arm, in charge of all of the law and order, shall we say, we've got our Scottish friend, Mr. Ronnie Miller. He's in town and he's looking after everyone and making sure everything's safe. And uh, he's keeping a careful eye on Mr. Doug because Mr. Doug's from Scotland and of course he wants to commit a bit of murdering, that's what he wants. Big shout out to some more Scottish friends, Kath, Stephen, good morning to you over in Inverness, and of course my cousin King James and his princess, Princess Kareen, and of course, sorry she's a queen, there is only one princess isn't there? Yes, Miss Darley, yes, Princess Darley, good morning to you. Now, let's have a look, where are we going? Well, we're going to join the main road, which we call the airport road if you're locals, but it's the road from Midtown Pathos that takes you out towards, of course, the airport. First of all, you go through Alexia, and then you go through, where was it, Con, you know, Timmy, Timmy, past the Timmy Market, and then you take a right and you head to the Paphos Airport, which, well, if you're coming from the Paphos Airport, it's a wonderful day, obviously. But of course, if you go into the Paphos Airport, well, it's not quite such a good day because, of course, it means you're leaving downtown paradise. And, well, Mr. Doug made a comment this morning. Someone, well, someone's been telling him, or a few people, so he said, and they say Cyprus is a dump. That's not true. Uh, I mean, obviously, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And of course, there are some bad parts, as there are everywhere. But in general, I think Cyprus is a very, very good place. It's a great place for the locals. It's a great place for us foreigners. And it's a great place if you're coming to live or if you're coming for a holiday. And you're not going to see much crime. You're not going to see much violence. I mean, to be honest, you're going to have to be pretty stupid to get yourself into trouble. And I say that to everyone. You know, if you're out here with your kids, and uh, let's say they're, 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 well, that funny age of 14, 15, 16, and uh, they want to go and venture off on their own. So to be honest, very, very difficult for them to get into trouble. Very, very difficult for them to find themselves in the back of a police car, if you understand. So you can relax, that's for sure. So it's not a bad place at all. I mean, like I say, there are some rougher parts, as there are everywhere. And there will be some places that are used as a rubbish tip, for example, up by the potty shop. Now, we're going to take a left down here, and this is going to take us towards what we call the Hotels Road. So this is the purpose-built road that's been put in to allow people to get quick access down to the Cato Pathos area. So that's where most of the hotels are, and that's where the promenade is, and of course that's where the harbour is. Now, Chris, if you're watching, you asked a comment about the Ivor Mari Hotel, wasn't it? Well, if you stick with us, you're going to pretty much go straight past it. So you're going to know exactly where it is in reference to the Rikos Beach and in reference to the promenade area. And uh, yeah, I got your message that you can't get a sea-facing room, so you're going to have to have an inland view. And you're curious to know how busy that road is. Well, to be honest, well, it's a bit like this road, not very busy. Obviously, when the airports uh, are full and there's a couple of buses come from the airport, there may be a couple of buses, but I don't think that it's going to disturb your holiday. I really, really don't. And uh, it's not a busy road at night either, so to be honest, I would just book it. You'll be fine, don't worry. Keep your windows closed and uh, put your aircon on, obviously, and you will be fine. I'd be very, very surprised if you can even hear a car, that's for sure. Right, so this is the roads that take us down to the Rikos Beach. To be honest, if you kept going straight, straight through those trees there, that would actually be Rikos Beach. 
but of course you can't drive that way in a car you have to go cross country perhaps in a four wheel drive or perhaps in an S class or something like that because of course you can raise the suspension so let's get round this roundabout and I warn you now by the way if you are in a car if you hired a car if you stolen a car borrowed a car or you happen to own a car please please drive along this road in particular as with most roads and stick to the speed limits and you can go over by you know 20 percent in cyprus so the speed limit along here at this section here is 65 then it drops to 50 then it goes 30 and back up you get the, the idea they're trying to catch you out so just drive along at around about 60 kilometers an hour wherever you are unless you're on the main highway and the boys in blue will leave you alone because, uh, well, they always look sad and glum at the side of the road. Cigarettes in one hand, you know, frappe in the other, unshaven, a bit like me. And, uh, of course, they're wearing woolly flip-flops at this time of year because it's a little bit cold. But when they catch you speeding or talking on your mobile phone or driving around holding a camera and making a YouTube video, oh, my God, they start to celebrate and clap hands and chuchuchka dance across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea as they zap your credit card. So... Be a good boy, be a good girl, drive very carefully and have respect for yourself and everyone else on the roads. So, let's keep going. We're going to go straight, straight. As you can see, that says Yeskipu Coastal Area. So if you go down there, that is actually Rikos Beach to us locals. And as you can see, if you're watching, Chris, the roads, to be honest, well, they're not very busy, are they? And even at the peak of summer, the busiest time here is the... Well, the second two weeks of August, and obviously that's because of factory shutdowns around the world. But on top of that, Cyprus shuts down and lots of the locals come down from Nicosia and Larnaca and they come to their home villages and towns if they're from Paphos and of course they hang out in the beach areas. So that's the busiest, busiest time. But uh, you're coming in September, I think you said. So you know, it's going to be busy with people walking, but not actually that busy with people racing up and down in cars. So, again, you can go down to the Yeroskipu beach area, Rikos Beach, and the hotels and all that kind of stuff. And to be honest, we have actually gone past the hotel that you're talking about, and it is set back over there behind the water park and that, which is now on the left-hand side. You've got a, a football stadium coming up here on the right. But I tell you what, as a special, special treat for you, I'll take a little diversion so that you understand exactly where it is and if you want to know how the channel is funded by the way on that note obviously to drive around in a car does cost a couple of bob uh, we're not asking you for a fortune but if you do feel that little bit generous perhaps go through to our about page where you can hit the buy me a coffee icon and buy us a coffee or two we promise to transform that into coffees breakfasts blue mankinis in the summertime and of course petrol which goes in the tank which allows us to drive around on these wonderful surface roads and uh, destroy the yellow wheels and the tires and all the suspension mounts uh, as we drive around but don't worry we've got a great mechanic on the channel we've got mr sean broad we're carrying him in the boot and he's having a bit of a chuckle with his mate sir richard and of course we've got uh, julie nash and my little mate it's not that little actually but mr leo sitting on the back seat and he's got his zapper in his hand so if Mr. Doug comes too close to me, I'm only going to zap the life out of him, that's for sure. So, here we are. And in front of us, by the way, is the Aqua Mari Hotel. And that's a luxury four-star hotel, beachfront hotel, obviously. And I think you're getting the idea now. This is the road. So, Chris, if you're curious to know, or anyone else is, the hotel here now is the Iva Mari. And there's the road. Uh, not a lot going on, is there? No, there we go. And to be honest, come along here in the summer, well, it's not much different. So I don't think that anyone who stays in any of these hotels with an inland view is going to be disturbed by any kind of traffic. And again, you've got villas on the right-hand side here, which are for sale for about one and a half million. So, you know, to be honest, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a villa, you're not going to want to live on a busy, busy road. It gets busier as we go to the other side of the triangle. Okay. And of course, as you get closer and closer to the Kedapathos promenade area, that's where it's busy and people are racing around at night trying to about look for a parking space, impress the ladies or impress the men, who knows. But uh, you're safe up this moment, as you can see. Athena Beach Hotel there. You've got the Athena Royal Beach next to that. 
and then after this parade of shops, if you were to take a left, you've got the Imperial Beach. So again, set back a little bit more from the road. But as you see, there's not a lot going on. And it's not a longer out area either, by the way, if you're curious to know, that's all towards Bar Street. Um, so there we go. You're gonna have a great, great holiday in downtown Cato Pampos. So at the end of the day, if you want to come through and have a quick look, get on all your videos. Lots of driving videos around. There's a lady called Alison. Uh, she apparently was watching our videos for two hours the other night. A big, big thank you and a shout out to you, Alison. Thank you, thank you very, very much. And if there's somewhere special that you'd like us to go, well, drop it in the comments. Big shout out to some of the people who are helping to keep us afloat. We've got John and Louise, known as the Barn Hawks. Thank you, thank you very much. We're still consuming your coffees. Dayman, she's on the sofa. We're still consuming your coffees. Um, who else have we got? Well, we've got Mark Stevens. Thank you. We've had your coffee the other day. Thanks very much. Um, who else is there? Um, Lynn and 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 Angie. Yes. Thanks very much. Absolute stars among stars. And of course, we can't forget as I come past this ho, tell the one and only Mr. Joe Cox from all the way in Manchester. His beautiful wife, Miss Julie. And of course, they brought the sister, Miss Kath. And she had a 50th birthday here. And uh, she brought her parting partner in crime. And of course, he's Mr. Colin. And he was 53 years young. Next hotel long doesn't need much of an introduction. It's got great in its name, and it's called the Alexander the Great Day Man. The hotel is quite simply waiting for you. Miss Fiona, it's waiting for you. Miss Nessie, it's waiting for you. Great, great hotel indeed. Oh, so sweet. Well, it's not waiting for you this time, but I'm sure the Alex will welcome you back next time, and you can mosey on down in there with Lord Nigel. But this time, of course, you're gonna defect and go to one of its cousin hotels, the Olympic Lagoon. There we are. So where are we now? Coming towards the busier part, as you can see. More people walking around. There's uh, Bar Street just over there to the right-hand side. And this is the crescendo as we drop down towards the Cato Paphos promenade area. And the last hotel there on the left is the Annabelle Hotel, five-star luxury hotel. You've got Maria's gift shop over here where you can pop in. Mention Marie Cremet and she will give you 20% off. All you've got to do is mentions, and you've got Marius Diamonds over there, that's closed, there we go, which is good. Pamela's Diamonds, that's closed, excellent. It's always good, it's always safe for the men when those diamond shops are closed. You've got the Royal, which is closed, the Dionysus Central Hotel, which is going to be opening up towards the weekend, and of course, Andrea Martz are jetted in on Saturday, so you're going to see them on camera next week. Now, talking about YouTube, by the way, they've got a YouTube channel, so why not click through to their little page and have a look. Andrew and Mart, they're, they're racing around the lanes in downtown Norfolk and uh, forgive the pothole, they're oh so so sweet. Uh, it was a massive one. Did you feel it, Dizzy Blonde? Yes. Eating the rear suspension on the car, that was. There we are, this is sensible now. That's the car to use to drive around, a JCB. Anyone gets in your way, you can flip them up and kick them out of your way. No traffic jams there. Ideal vehicle for driving down the M62 if your name is Dizzy Blonde. There we go. So we're wiggling and waggling now to the rear of the Cato Paphos Promenade area. And slowly but surely, if you stick with us, I'm going to take you to the harbour. And uh, you're going to get a spectacular view, that is for sure. So what's coming up here for reference points? Supermarket on the left, the Papa Antonio Supermarket. Anything you can want is in there. The Basilica's a resort, Leptos Resort was on the right-hand side. You've got some three-wheel electric trikes, if you want one of those. Their office is just round the corner, and it works out about 30 euros for an hour. And if you negotiate with them, you can get some very, very good deals indeed. So let's take a left and head down towards the Ketapathos Harbour, and you're going to get a great, great view of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. And I'm going to say thanks for watching, and of course, if you do like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. Please come back for a little bit more of, well, my insanity, that's for sure. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Look at the state of this surface. Even though they've been filling in all where the cobbles were missing. Uh, well, what can I say? It reminds me of uh, well, sort of my home city, Chester. They've cobbled all the life out of that place. And to be honest, you can't even walk down the streets that that uneven. Uh, retro, I think they call it. Anyway, that's the rant over. Thanks for watching.